welcome back to News Tonight. Amid all the raids being conducted at the controversial godman Nithyananda's premises for allegedly possessing tiger skins, Nithyananda gave a very candid interview to NETV Hindu. Take a look. One of the things that I have been doing is not going to be able to do any reactions to my body. It's not going to be able to do any of that. No, I don't have to say anything. There's no video. அந்த மாதிரி எந்த வார்த்தையும் நான் சொல்லலைங்க கர்நாடக காவல்துறை வந்து காரணம் இல்லாமல் அவதூறாக நீங்கள் பார்த்துருப்பீங்க இப்போ என்ன அரெஸ்ட் பண்ணது வந்து பெய்லபிள் அஃபென்ஸுக்காக அரெஸ்ட் பண்ணாங்க The disciplinary committee of the Board of Control for Cricket of India banned five players accusing of fixing in a sting operation during this year's IPL. The three-member committee consisting of BCCI Chairman N. Srinivasan and Board Vice Presidents Arun Jaitley and Niranjan Shah went through the report submitted by BCCI's anti-corruption wing. The BCCI has imposed a life ban on TP Sudhendra. BCCI held Sudhendra guilty of receiving a consideration to spot fix in a domestic match. Shalab Srivastava has been banned for five years. Shalab was held guilty of agreeing to fix a match and negotiate terms for the same even though no actual match fixing or spot fixing took place. Amit Yadav has been banned for one year. He was seen in the scene claiming that certain franchises were willing to pay him more than his lab. Monish Mishra playing for Pune Warriors India was seen in the video saying that he was getting 1.45 crore rupees from team owner Sahara whereas he was in the 30 lakhs lab. He has been banned for one year. The same punishment has been handed to Abhinav Bali. Bali in the sting operation also claimed that he had been offered more money than his lab by franchises. A 33-year-old woman MLA and her second husband were beaten up by a mob of, of around 100 people at a hotel in Assam. Both sustained injuries in the attack but are now out of danger. Converse leader Rumi Nath, who represents Borkhla Assembly constituency, married Zakir, a Muslim, last month and converted to Islam. She had allegedly not divorced her first husband. Four people have been arrested in the case. बड़ा दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है और सरकार को वहाँ जो सरकार है उनको अपने एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन को पुलिस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन को टाइट करना चाहिए कि इस तरह की घटना आगे ना हो और हम लोग इस पे सुमोटो कॉम्बिनेशंस लेके और मेरी टीम जरूर जाएगी और हालात का जायजा करके आए। At least 17 workers were injured after a chemical factory caught fire in Andhra Pradesh's Srikakulam district this morning. The fire broke out after a blast inside the Nagarjuna Agri-Chemical Factory. Reddy said that the injured have been shifted to the local hospital. District Police Chief KVB Gopal Rao told NDTV that the management has said that there was no one trapped inside and that there were no casualties. There may have been up to 40 people in the plant at that time, he added. Pakistan Interior Ministry Chief Rahman Malik called on India to provide more details about the 2611 key handler Abu Jindal and said criminals using fake passports cannot be Pakistanis. Indian authorities have said that Ansari Elias Abu Jindal, who is an Indian citizen, had travelled to Saudi Arabia on a Pakistani passport. In recent interactions with the media, Malik has questioned whether the passport used by Ansari was genuine. Leader of India's main opposition, the BJP, Vinay Khatiar, asked the government to inquire as to where Abu Jindal stayed and from which political leaders he got shelter from. Bharat Sarkar se amari maang hai ki wo kin ki netaon ke ghar mein raha hai, kab kab usko sanachan mila hai, kisne sanachan diya hai, इसकी जांच होनी चाहिए। क्योंकि ये बहुत गंभीर मामला है।
Staying with politics, a day after nine ministers loyal to Karnataka strongman B.S. Yadirappa handed their resignations to Chief Minister Sadanand Gowda, the party's central leadership has rushed the state in charge to Bangalore to defuse the crisis. Dhanmendra Pradhan met state party president K.S. Ishwarappa this morning. He is also expected to meet ministers from the Yadirappa camp who want Gowda to be replaced with Jagadish Shatar. I also discussed with him the present political scenario wherein I received nine uh, resignations from the, my cabinet colleagues and yesterday night I had detailed discussions with the party president and uh, our uh, in charge uh, Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan, state in charge Dharmendra Pradhan and uh, they have expressed that everything will be resolved smoothly. This is a clear that the Bharti Janta Party is a leader in the world. कोई आज ऐसा सरमान नेता नहीं है कि जो पार्टी को चला सके आज उस पार्टी में कोई एक नेता नहीं है क्योंकि जिस तरह से हर राज्यों में खुले आम भारतीय जनता पार्टी में अंतर कलह सरफेस पे आ रही है आज कर्नाटका में नौ मंत्री मुख्यमंत्री के खिलाफ इस्तीफा दे दें तो इससे साफ है कि आज राज्यों में या केंद्र में भारतीय जनता पार्टी के अंदर बहुत ही झगड़े हैं और अंतर कलह है अनेक जना तपु संदेश आगे वरदी मध्यम आम गम बरता है इवतु ना राजीन को कारण मुख्यमंत्री निकटपूर्व मुख्यमंत्री सन्मान यद्यूरपन अवंत चितावणे चितावणी आते मध्यम वरदी आगता नम गम बरता इू शुद्ध सुन तम गम बैसता ना मंत्रिमंडल सदस्य बेहतर सामरस्य कोरते ऐन अपष्ट नावे अली नम मध्य बांधव्य कर्नाकु तिंग कुसित आगद परणाम ना बदलाण उद्देश्य मुख्यमंत्री सन्मान्य जगदीश शेटर बेड़े ना नि राजीन पत्र सल गम तक बैसता है Onto the blame game in the Adarsh Housing Society scam, former Maharashtra Chief Minister Ashok Chavan, who is being questioned by the two-member Judicial Committee, has blamed his predecessor Vilas Rao Deshmukh for the irregularities. Just days ago, Mr. Deshmukh appeared before the panel headed by retired Justice J. A. Patil and put the blame on Chavan instead. Sushil Kumar Shinde, another former Chief Minister of Maharashtra, was earlier questioned by the panel and he had put the blame on bureaucrats and other departments. I have put questions to him on three issues. One, what is the procedure followed by the Revenue Department while adulting the government land to any cooperative housing society? He told us in his answer that as per GR of 9-7-1999 and two common orders, the if the value of the property in city of Mumbai is more uh, irrespective of value has to be given by the Chief Minister. The second point which I asked him about was the meeting of 2nd of June 2000 and 2000 in which said the meeting had taken place but he did not, he said that in that meeting there is no discussion pertaining to 40% civilian being accommodated. He has stated that when I received this letter I marked it to the joint secretary to follow up and put up before him and according to him for two years nothing was brought to his notice from on the basis of this particular letter. It's another short break for now, stay tuned to the other end. Thank <laughs> you.